Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Total War Warhammer 3 playthrough playing as Scarbrand leading the exiles of Khorne to victory. Today we're going to hopefully wipe out the Slaneshi forces. I'm currently recruiting a couple of blood letters. I'm tempted actually to recruit a third but I'm not entirely sure about that because we do currently have a quest to increase our income to at least 200. It's not going to give us much favour, but it does give us 100 skulls, which I guess is useful. And again, for now, I get the feeling that having the extra units would be useful for getting through this army that's in Death Axis Monoliths. Oh, they do get an army ability. What's that? Causes rampage and damage. Ah, huh. that's a nice ability. Yeah, I think we're going to probably need another unit. So how much is in the garrison? Let's have a look. There's quite a lot in the garrison. Plus another bunch of units on top, plus they're replenishing or recruiting more. Is there ambush stance? I guess I could in theory try and ambush them. If we found a good place to ambush that would work. Because what I could do is like potentially just go into ambush stance and then attack them but I'm not sure if they'd sally forth anyway because it's not like they're adjacent to any of my provinces. We raised the one that was there. I think it'd probably be better just like go at them all out with the blood leathers of corn and if we lose any in the next battle it will <laughs> at least get our income back. Yeah, I think we do that. Alright, let's move on. They're not going to do anything, but I assume... Your yeah, they recruited a couple more. But expenditure on unit upkeep is becoming ruinous. You should consider disbanding some of your troops. <laughs> it's like, you got too many troops, dude. <laughs> Alright, and it's going to give us more money to fix that problem. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. All right, Infernius, uh, we did get rid of that building, so I'm gonna build the armory. I don't really care about my money right now because I'm gonna attack the settlement and we'll get stuff back from that anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and attack Death Axe's monolith. Okay. So it says it's gonna be a valiant defeat. What's the settlement look like? If we can spread them out like we did in the last battle, it's fine. Ooh, that's not a very nice settlement, really, is it? Ah. Huh. Okay. Um, let's jump on in. It's going to be a difficult fight, for sure. If I ball up we might actually be better off because then I can get all of my like AOE buffs going and we can win that way. I'm thinking that this one in the bottom right would be the easiest one to attack because all of these have like really insane ch choke points whereas at least this one if I get to this right side I might be able to get onto the objective and then we stop all the towers shooting us. If I try and attack in too many places it's just going to put towers everywhere it's going to get really unwieldy. I think here would be the best place. I mean, technically here, we could like move up around. I think they can put down like, the barriers though. And I don't know where the barriers go. I haven't really learned that. This would be really hard because if we're pushing uphill. Yeah, I think here's the best because we're technically pushing downhill towards the objective. This one's uphill as well. Uh, what I could do though is start my army on the left so that they build their towers on the left and then shift to the right. Throw strats, boys. Yeah, they put a tower there, so now we'll now move over here. We're going to take a bit of damage for that, but I think it was worth it. Especially if I get my Chaos Warhounds onto this. Oh, they have a unit here, of course they do. That's frustrating. 
Uh, this unit's already taken a ton of damage. Wow, those towers hurt. Ouch. It's kind of annoying it's hitting this unit in particular because if it was hitting any other unit, it'd be fine. I think just like having these blood crushers move in here and capture this with Scarbrand early on and also these boys would be great. I'll have them move in as well. They'll start the capture. Right, I'm going to keep these guys out of combat for the time being because they'll just die otherwise. Can they actually capture this? I'm not sure they can, but I mean, they can engage these, this unit. That's absolutely fine. And then we can have Scarbrand get behind and back him up. Let's get my Chaos Warhounds in here. We'll get the uh, Furies in there. There we go. We're starting to capture this, which is good because it means they can't put any towers. And we can just keep fighting in this area. It'll probably be good. That unit died. That's fine. Uh, no, we don't want that unit going that way. Yeah, so we got away from the tower. We can engage them here. I'm actually just going to line up on this. We'll use the ramp to our advantage. Alright, those are dead. So that's good. So yeah, I'm just going to, again, we're going to line up here. Because then if they attack into this blob, we can also hit them from this side at the same time. So I, I kind of want them to blob up now. Although, oh, that tower is shooting us, but that uh, doesn't matter because that's going to die soon. It's fine. Let's kill these. Great, yeah, so that tower is gone. Yeah, this is perfect. We can fight them here. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of these move down here. Uh, they are going to move around the right, actually. We need to be a bit careful about that. Mm, don't really need my Chaos Warhounds in there. Mm. Looks like we're going to probably have to push forwards on this left side so we don't get surrounded. It's fine. But what we can do is briefly cut them off from the side here, I think. Oh, I didn't bring my chariot in. Oops. Oh, they do have that tower. Uh, that's annoying. I don't know if there's much I can do about it. Doesn't seem to be attacking too often. That's good. Get the Chaos Warhounds to come around. We can maybe charge him in the back. Might also do the same here. There's another unit though. Um, hmm. I mean, Scarbrand's having fun. That's what matters, right? <laughs> I kind of want to attack these, but I also kind of don't. Well, we're going to come in behind them, though. 
The lead is kind of chilling in the middle, so it's fine by me. Yeah, we got them surrounded here pretty well. And over here, my chariot is just going crazy. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. Uh, let's actually bring this guy over here. Help the chariot out. Ooh, big damage. Big damage. Those are the swings we need. Go on. Big old attacks like that. I'm going to just charge into these. Mm, that tower's firing again. Not ideal. We have absolutely dominated those demonettes. Yeah, we're starting to get the better of him. Uh, I'm going to pop this here again. Because I want to... We're going to move them out the way of that part of her. Fire from the tower. It's not good. I, I would rather they shoot at Scarbrand, because at least they can kind of tank it. How many troops they got left? It's like one, two, three, four. Seeker chariots. Okay. I mean, oh, there's another unit there as well. Alright, so we still need to be kind of careful here. Make sure we kill off that unit. And then we can charge into here. Good. This is actually going very well. Like way better than I thought it was. The balance of power is actually in our favor now. At the start, it really wasn't. Um, the Marauders of Slanesh, we're going to want to get rid of for permanently. The Demonettes, they crumble, so that's fine. Alright, we're going to do these two this way. With the Chariot. And then we're going to put these ones this way and we'll keep the blood crushers in cover for now I wonder how strong this exalted keeper is curious Oh, there's two units there. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Right, we're going to try and get behind them, I guess. Power is bad for us, really bad. And also, these units coming down, not good either. And again, we can do this, get the rage going. Oh, here comes the exalted keeper. Hmm. All right, we're going to want to engage her with Garbrand. And also the Blood Reaper. And we're going to give that buff there. So he can keep doing his thing.
Alright, we want to break those demonettes. Like, make them disappear. I'll be super careful with these boys. I'm gonna have good old Scarbrand come over here and just smack him about. My Blood Reaper should be able to deal with the Exalted Keeper, I think. If I can kill the Seeker Chariots, that puts in a really good spot. I'm gonna move the chariot up here. So that doesn't get killed. And I'm gonna have this come in to kill the uh, Marauders of Smash, or at least make them run away. Scarbrand is currently rampaging. But I think we have won. Phew. That was quite the battle. <laughs> That was insane. That was actually insane. I don't know how we managed to pull that off. Because when I saw like how many more units I still had to kill, <laughs> I thought we were doomed. But apparently not. We managed to play that quite well. Taking this was really, really good. And not letting this tower fire on us by like tucking stuff up against the wall and using this wall was really nice as well. So that worked out perfectly. We'll end the battle there for a Pyrrhic victory. I mean, I'll take it. That's going to wipe out that faction, I think. It's rid of another one of our enemies. And replenishment should definitely be on the table. I don't think we can afford to bring up the army. Uh, we did lose one of our blood letters, which will give us some income back. We got 5,700 from that. Wow. Nice. 5,420 experience as well. That was brilliant. All right. I mean, we can probably plunder it, but I kind of want to do this for unit replenishment. I wonder if I can get rid of this. We have a lot of money. I'm going to do it. We got the Doom Harvesters. Okay. We've got the bloodletting streak of three victories, which gave us 800 favor and skulls. So, this lasts, what, four turns? Can we disband them? We can, okay, cool. That's good to know. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into this land. All right, let's rank him up. He got three skill points from that. <laughs> Amazing. I will right, we'll go Slaughter for the extra physical resistance. And I'm going to give him melee defense as well. I could also do blood feast though. It only goes up to 6%. Kind of kind of trash. I think this is better. Like physical resistance plus 10%. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I could put one... Well, the hate slanesh actually would have been useful there. But um, we're not probably going to need that for a little while. Could put one in here. Extra 2% replenishment could be useful. Because it'll be handy in the future since we can replenish anywhere pretty much. This guy's got two skill points from that. So brutal charge and slaughter. Great. So can these not move in the same turn as you get them? No. 
Interesting. Alright, well, he can definitely move quite far. We're going to move over here. And we're going to go into the camp stance. And over at Infernius. We could upgrade the war arena as well for the extra income. Let's do that. Great. Well, let's move on to the next turn, I think, unless there's anything else we need to do. Uh, we are making them like us by killing the seducers of Slanish. Yeah, Scarbrand, I really wish he was getting more replenishment this turn. If this doesn't have much in it, oh it does, that I was going to say we could, uh... yeah, that's not the right one. It was a different one. Grow your forces. Recruit 20 new units. I love the way it's given us that quest when it's telling us to delete units at the same time. Yeah, this is not the same place, is it? No. Alright, so we might actually just be able to take that. However, I am kind of tempted to wait for this army. I mean, I have purchased it so I might as well use it I could also send it this way to go and fend off the bridge of brass or to even take the bridge of brass I don't know if it could maybe I mean it's bigger than I thought it would be but that would be like one two three and then four to attack and then the army would disappear and also like it is costing us a lot I think maybe we just go for the attack with Scarbrand here and have the Doom Harvesters help us with the next one because we want to get those consecutive victories in round. So, progress will decay unless a battle is fought this turn. Yeah. Okay, so... Should be simpler than the last battle, at least. <laughs> that last one, like... It's really, like, just take it out of me. It's so close. Yeah, this is going to be a lot simpler, I think. Because at least we can kind of move around this element to make them run around a place. Uh, let's jump on in. Just need to figure out a good place to actually attack again. But at least we know in future for those types of settlements. Like I don't know how many different types of settlements there are in Warhammer 3, but for those particular settlements, like the Slanesh settlement we just destroyed, we know that that place is a good place to attack. And it's slowly working out that kind of thing that's really going to help us out in campaigns in the future. They do have some of these Chaos Warriors. I'm not sure how good Chaos Warriors are going to be. Uh, this one looks like it goes up and up and up and up and up regardless. So I think what we could do... Is maybe put an army over here. It gives us two ways in. And if we go, say, this side, and then actually attack that flag, that's the most even one, and we don't actually have to, like, fight uphill to get it. So, again, yeah, I think this is the best way to be. Best place to be. I'm actually going to have these back. Any of these damaged ones back. These ones can stand at the front and tank for me. Keep these back. Those can take damage, I don't care. This needs to be back. We just go around. Alright, yeah, we'll move over here. There is a tower there. The 
So we're going to want to get these two units. Pretty much block here. And they'll probably just come down into us and we can take them out. Though this tower doesn't seem as strong as the other one. <laughs> I think the other one had like magic projectiles, so that's why they were maybe doing so much damage. Not entirely sure. Anyway. Scar Baron can stand here with this. And yeah, we're just getting these in as fast as we can. I mean, I can block this off with these guys. I need to stop them getting to this unit. Yeah, that's fine. If they want to engage me, that's that's fine. I just need to make sure that Scarbrand's in there. Okay, let's get all of these inside. We'll let them come down into us. Good. Oh, that's destroyed. Well, they did make a barricade there, actually, but we just destroyed it, so that's alright. We were fast enough. And that unit decayed. It was a bit of a wasted unit, honestly. I'm going to move these back. We'll let my Blood Reaper engage this guy. Oh, that's another Blood Reaper. Enemy Blood Reaper. Oh, 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 big boot in the face. Nice. Let's get across here with the Chaos Shrine as well. Very good. Annihilating all of those. I'm going to get rid of the Blood Reaper. Are they coming around behind? I feel like they're coming around behind us. He is dead. <laughs> yeah, they are coming around behind. Let's have the Blood Crushers engage that. These lot can all attack this. And we'll do the corn horn. The corner horn. The horny corn. Um, just there, and that should help us annihilate these Chaos Warriors. Good. Well, we speed things up. Next unit's on its way. Oh, never mind, we already won. Huh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> sure thing. That was, uh, surprisingly easy. We lost 18 units. Yeah, I guess the garrison just wasn't that big. <laughs> really, really interesting battle there. I think just finding the best way to attack with this is, is like the main way to win. Right, we probably just want to do Skull for the Skull Throne here. And... We have a mission issue to get a, gain a bloodletting streak of 9 victories, which should give us 4,500 uh, favor and 1,000 skulls, and also a sword of bloodshed. Scarbrand. 
So he, at the moment he has the Shrieking Blade, right? So that would be way better. Until he gets his weapons, of course. Uh, we got extra point there. Let's just pop that into... Maybe we do need to go for a punishment. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Blood awaits elsewhere. Our Twisted Tower should be pretty easy to take. We'll come back for the Tower of Flies at some point. I don't know... Yeah, he's not going to be able to... <laughs> like, this Blood Toast is kind of pointless if he's not going to actually join us. I might just disband it. And then we just get another one at Twisted Towers. It's costing us way too much right now. Then again, if an army comes over here, we might need him. Hmm. Yeah, they just don't seem to keep up. Uh, my Blood Reaper can continue with slaughter, that's fine. I think I'm going to keep him for one more turn, just in case the army pops up here. It doesn't. I might as well just disband this one and get another one. Because then at least I can get the replenishment. Oh, there. It get turned up. Money okay. is the lifeblood of success and glory. Without the means to support your armies, you will be powerless to make war. At the end of your turn, have an income of at least 3,000. <laughs> Current income minus 1,600. <laughs> I guess that's a potion of healing. The of the vanquished are highly prized by Korn, your god and master. Butcher your enemies, and you shall gain many such tributes to the Lord of Murder. Okay. Get 500 skulls from battle seems easy enough. Well, they're recruiting a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I'm going to need this army for sure. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Like, I think one thing we could maybe do is ambush. And then we have this army to stand here. And then maybe they'll sally forth, which would be really good. But I don't think there's anywhere good here to ambush. Oh, ambush success chance. 70%. So if we go ambush here, and I move these guys over here, in March stance, maybe we'll be able to ambush them. And if not, we just attack the settlement next turn anyway, because we'd, we'd need to wait for them to catch up. Cool, we got so many quests right now. I think that's everything done. Do I need to do anything over here? I don't think so. Oh, we can get a cultist now. Um... Brute Hero, Cultist of Corn. I think it's Corn Corruption plus one. This one's Weapon Strength. This one's Melee Attack and Weapon Strength. Hmm. I'm not sure what Cultists are good for. I'm not sure if it's worth getting one this turn. I might get one, like, the turn after we've used these boys. Yeah. Alright, let's end the turn. Move on to the next one. Go on, please attack me. Yes! Ambush. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it worked. I can't believe it actually worked. Like, this is so good because it's going to, like, really, really help us out a lot. 
All right. Um, so we're of course going to control large army. Uh, let's just scout the terrain a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Let's jump on in. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm guessing they're probably going to try and run away, but we've got to hold them as long as we can. So our reinforcements can arrive. Right, how do they get out? Is it this area? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be quite tough. We'll just want to start here and just create a wall, basically. We don't have any range forces. We just want to get in their way. The enemy command the high ground. Attack with caution, my lord. I have the high ground. No, they don't. How long till our reinforcements arrive? Two minutes? Oh my lord. It's not good. Right, let's get Scarbrand and this boy to engage, and in we go. Maybe I should get a unit or two to come in behind. I think maybe once they engage, it'd be best to do that. No, it's going to be pretty rough. Are they just trying to like run through me right now? I feel like they are. I mean, it's good. I mean, we we'll try and do as much damage as we can. Yes. My warhounds can probably run them down. They're trying to run away. Starting to break through our lines. Your warriors tire, mighty lord. Your exertions dull their ability to fight. Give them time to rest, even amidst the thickest of battles. Never rest. No rest. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Now, this one unit on the right hand side here is a bit of a pain. I don't think I can catch up to that one. Maybe I can. We just do as much damage as we can. That was so good. Wow. Like, I didn't expect them to, like, not fight. I thought if we stood in their way, they would actually fight us, but they didn't. Well, nice and easy. Get my flesh hounds over here. We haven't actually seen these boys yet. Flesh hounds of corn. Very awesome. We also have a skull cannon here. Looks like keeping this army was worth it after all. <laughs> let's uh, speed things up a bit as we take them out. Kill those inspiring champions, that'd be great.
Okay, I'll end the battle there for the decisive victory. Uh, doing this battle was super, super important because taking on that many forces in a defensive position would be really, really hard. My blood letters are getting pretty high rank now, which is nice. We're up to rank three. Increase their melee, melee attack and stuff quite nicely. Oh, 1,000 skulls. Holy moly. Don't mind if I do. And the best part is we can just attack them again straight away. <laughs> And we got a technology researched. Copycat killers. A Norskan shaman reports a vision of a far off kingdom raised to ash. Is every inhabitant slaughtered? Of nothing left but a mountain of skulls. Though none know where this land is, the joyous news of Korn's distant triumph means countless demons jockey for the opportunity to achieve similar here. So copycat killers gives us minus 25% recruitment costs the petty squabbles of the weak and feeble are contemptible to the blood god spread your corrupting influence beyond your realm for corn demands that all must join the cult of war i'm gonna drop my non-aggression packs with uh this nurgle fella because i probably want to take him out Since so I'm going to go round in a big circle, I'm going to go up here, we're going to take these boys out, come back down again. Okay, so that's fine. Lord, we have brokered an alliance with your brothers. They lie in wait as the enemy approach the brazen altar. All it requires is your attendance. So this is our quest battle since he's level 10. The Scarbrand's patience, such as it is, is wearing thin. The plan was to wait, await the encroaching Nurgle horde, and then for the three Cornate forces to slaughter them in a glorious carnage before the brazen altar. Plans! What weakness. The farmer plans for the harvest. The maiden plans her wedding. Scarbrand does not scheme. What use is plans when there is rage and slaughter? The wrathful reaper clashes his axes together and glares at the bloodthirsters in command of the other cornate forces. This is their blasphemous folly. This planning and waiting. If Nurgle won't oblige, then Corn will have will yet have his due. Blood for the blood god. So that will give us our weapons, but I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea to do just yet. Because uh, we're going to have to go up against those forces. And I think Scarbrand is a little bit weak Scarbrand. right now. Oh no, he's almost really with bonus now. But he got another two skill points for that, blimey. Okay, so I don't know if I want to max this out just yet. Although getting Unholy Resilience for the extra casualty replacement for the Lord would be really nice because then it means I can use Scarbrand a lot more liberally in battles to just like kill everything. I mean, getting kill could also be a good idea, and then I get Bellows of Endless Fury next time around. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. All the better to spill blood. And he can max out on Slaughter. Good. Right, well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, what we'll do is we'll wait, we'll take out Valmir, that will give us another victory. We'll take out the Twisted Towers, that'll be another victory. And then we can go towards the Bridge of Brass, and after that we'll go up to the Blighted Grove, and the Cliff of Beasts, and then the Shifting Monolith. As you know, we'll go up to Blood Mountain, and the Palace of Princes, etc, etc. Yeah, awesome. We're just going to go up and around and back down again. 
Just clear out this entire area before heading south and or heading to the east. I think that's the best thing to do. Because I have no idea where the quest is. Like, we have these victory conditions to complete the corn realm. But I don't know exactly how we go about that. I feel like we're going to have to maybe get this up first. By spreading the corn corruption, right? So... Yeah, we'll do that over time for sure. Because my next technology is going to be uh, Spread Rage. So yeah, let's do that actually. But that's it. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.